Good day friends. Welcome again to my channel. It's long time I've not put up any videos, but recently I had been to one site where one of my students has was taking trials related to finding groundwater. He had identified a well and in and around the well he was trying to douse with the help of L rods. When he was moving around, the rods deflected much to his surprise and also because of the training which he had taken online as well as offline. So once you have got the ability to find groundwater and you move around on the ground, there is a possibility that you would get reactions. And <clears throat> where there is an existing bore well and it is giving lots of water, then there is 100% possibility that whatever you are reaction you are getting, it is because of the groundwater vein. So the first stage is done and it's okay. Now <clears throat> you have other abilities also. You have acquired knowledge. The knowledge is there in the form of books, videos and so many things. So <clears throat> in one of the ancient books, Brahit Samhita, I think so the shlok number 11 or stanza number 11 indicates that wherever there is an Audumbar tree, or an Indian fig tree, chances of having groundwater are the highest and you will be getting perennial water throughout the year. To our surprise, wherever my friend was dowsing in that area just near the borewell, a fig tree or Indian fig tree was there, lush green with all the figs on it and on inquiring with the people who were using that, it was found that to a depth of about 100 feet, which we had estimated earlier, which was correct, there has been a pump which has been installed and it pumps water throughout the day. It is one of the most perennial well they have on that particular site. So we tried to validate two of our dowsing questions which we normally ask. One is whether we are on the vein. Second, at what depth we will be finding groundwater. And both these questions you could easily identify specially on an existing well. So friends, when you are carrying out dowsing, with the help of L rods, see that you validate them or whatever your work is there with the available visual clues. Some of the visual clues are the trees, the Indian fig tree, the jamun tree, or many other things which are there in the courses of different videos, we will get to them. But friends, keep your eyes wide open. Whatever knowledge you have acquired, apply it at that particular location and you will be getting the best result. Happy dowsing. Thank you very much for your time.